All right, taking your kids out in public is a gamble. I know, I understand. I have three of my own crazy children. And anytime we go out in public, I am fully aware that they might misbehave. And sometimes parents think that's embarrassing, but like honestly, who freaking cares, okay? You gotta parent your kid, and that means you're gonna have to do it in public. Okay, so think of it this way. When you go out in public, you either don't know anybody that you see and you're never gonna see them again, or you're gonna see people that you do know, and if they know you, then they know your kids, and they know kids are going to misbehave in public. No one's perfect, especially toddlers. It's almost like a rite of passage to have your kid have a tantrum in the middle of Target, so let's go do some shopping, and we will talk about how you should react when your kid misbehaves in public. I wanted to also mention that if you do run into somebody that you know, while you're out shopping, woo, don't fall over now because we're going back and out of the driveway. If you run into somebody that you know when you're shopping, it could be a great distraction for your kid. So if they're having a fit, like, oh, look it, there's your neighbor Billy Bob over there, let's go say hi. And then they could be distracted and totally not even like thinking about whatever they were having a fit about. So it's not always a bad thing to run into people that you know, especially when your kid is having a little bit of a hard time. Distraction is everything. Do you ever like put your hair in a mid ponytail and and then you're driving and it like hits the back of your headrest and it's just like annoying the whole time because then you have to like drive this close to the steering wheel. Anyways, before you even go to the store, you need to consider if it's a good time to leave the house. Is your child tired or hungry? Because obviously I'm a pediatric sleep consultant, sleep is everything. And if your child is tired or overtired, then you know that it's going to be a bad situation. If your child is tired, they are way more susceptible. Susceptible, is that even the right word? They are more inclined to have a tantrum, have a fit, and not be able to handle big emotions, such as wanting something. Um, if they're hungry, then the entire time you're in the store, it's gonna be like, can I eat something? Can I have something? Can you have a snack? Do you have a snack? Which, bringing snacks is a great idea, don't get me wrong. But, so that's rule number one. You need to make sure your, your child is not hungry or tired. If your child's not sleeping well, you know to get some sleep help. So hit me up, missy at slumberandbloom.com or go to the link in the description box down below to set up a free evaluation call. Moving on to rule number two. Before you even get out of the car and go in the store, which is why we're talking about this right now before I even get out of the car and go to the, in the store. Did I bring my credit card? Um, you need to make sure that you are discussing with your child the rules and the expectations of going into any public facility. So if you're going shopping and you have a specific list of things that you need to buy, then you need to communicate that with your child and let them know we're here to buy blah, 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 blah. Let your child hold the list. Give them a job. Say it's going to be your job today to hold the list so mommy doesn't forget anything. Who cares if they can't read? Give them a job, let them hold the list. And what I normally do with my kids now that they're a little bit older, I will ask them, what are the rules of going into the store? How do we behave? Every single time. I still do with my kids because now they're older and they ask for 50,000 different things. And I will specifically tell them, we are not here for X, Y, Z. We are here for A, B, C. So discussing those rules and expectations every single time you go into a place is critical. Your child should not be expected to just remember all these things just like because you think that they should. They're not going to. You need to remind them of the rules and the expectations, how they can act and what they can do while you're in the store because honestly, shopping can be boring for some kids and they're really just trying to find something to do. So bring some toys in for them that they can play with or um, bring some snacks that they can eat while, they're, while you're shopping. And instead of having them sit in that front little container cart, which is totally fine if your child enjoys it, but if they don't, you can can put them in the large back, back a uh, little cart portion and have them bring something in that they can play with. So that's rule number one and rule number two. Let's go ahead into the store and go shopping. Welcome to gloomy Rochester, New York, where the sun doesn't shine until June.
listen, this is not one of the rules of going to the store with kids and what to do when they misbehave. However, let's, let's just like think about this, okay? Do not go down aisles that you don't want to buy something from, okay? Don't like just avoid the entire toy section. There's no reason why you even need to go past or through the toy section. There's not. If you're not buying a toy, you don't need to go down there, okay? So just avoid it. Just keep on walking. If you don't want to buy candy, don't go down the candy aisle. However, rule number three, you can reward positive behavior. So you wanna reinforce the behavior that you would like your child to continue displaying. So you could take a little page out of my book. All right, when we go to the store, I explain to the kids my expectations. This is how you behave. You act polite, you are quiet-ish. I mean, you know, it's not a library, but we're not yelling, we're not like jumping around the store, we're not doing all those things and we're not fighting with each other. We're not begging me to buy this, that, and whatever. And if, if and only if you follow my rules and have good behavior, then maybe I'll let you pick something out. Now, I got eggs. I got butter. I got two things of muffin mix. Now, the kids didn't come with me on this trip, but if they did, I would have told them that they could have picked out cookies that they wanted to make because guess what I wanted to buy this anyways so if if I had the kids with me and if they were well behaved I would have said okay you know I got the muffin mix I wanted why don't you go ahead and pick out a cookie mix or whatever because you guys were so well behaved so definitely you know you can take that page right out of my book here you go have it and um I mean, some call it bribery, but I call it rewards. If the kids are well behaved, then go ahead and let them pick something out. But mama's making cookies. Okay, I had to get a hoodie, jacket, whatever we're gonna call this because I'm freezing. I wanted to show you something else I got because it's adorable. I got myself a little M mug with flowers on it. It's so slumber and bloomy. So yeah, I had to get it. Um, also got some exercise bands because I'm exercising at home and I got some tape because the kids you, if you know you know and then I got something for Tim for Christmas so I'm not showing you in case he sees this video now we get into the dirt if and when your child is misbehaving you have two choices okay you either ignore the behavior or you leave the store those are literally the only two choices that you have now you've gone over the rules with your child before you left the house so check you've done that you went over the rules before you went in the store check you did that you brought distraction items you brought toys you brought snacks you brought the things that you needed to bring check okay so you have done your part, you've done what you need to do, and if your child is still not able to behave the way that a toddler should be expected to behave, I mean, do we expect them to be perfect? No, we don't. But, apparently I can't multitask here, 375, if, if your child knows what's expected of them, if your child knows what's expected of them, then I, I mean, there's no excuse and you give them reminders and you know, you let them know this is your only chance. I am not giving you another chance. This is it. If you continue misbehaving, we are leaving. If you're going with the leaving option, if you're going with the ignoring option, it is so straightforward. You literally just ignore the child. The one thing that you really, really, really don't want to do is negotiate with your child. It's not going to be a consistent, continuous, if you keep misbehaving, we are not going to get your cookie mix. That is absolutely not an option. And if you got the cookie mix, and then you get in line and your child is having a terrible tantrum in line, you put the cookie mix back. As much as you wanted those cookies, you're not getting them, mama. You need to be strong and put them back. Because guess what? If you give in the first time, you're gonna give in the second time. And then you're gonna give in the third time. And then you're gonna give in the fourth time. And then your kid is never going to know how to behave in public. I promise. Like seriously, that is a promise. 
So make sure that you stick to your guns, put your foot down and let the kids, I mean like let them be kids, but at the same time they have to be respectful and they have to behave in public. If it comes down to having to leave and you've given your child a couple reminders and you've given them a couple chances, then it's, it's gonna be time to go. And that might mean, this is gonna probably irritate you, that might mean that you leave your cart or you go put things back and then you leave but nine times out of ten like I've done this before you can go to the front of the store and say I'm sorry I can't buy this right now I have to leave right now and then the store will take care of it if that happens it's fine do not stress out but like you have to you have to put parenting over shopping and that's just the way that it's gonna be a whole dang stick of butter that is a lot that's fine, that's what I bought the butter for. I am so glad that I was so well behaved at Target today because I'm having cookies, girl. Okay, so now you know what to do when your child misbehaves in public, how you should handle it, how you shouldn't handle it, and you probably want some cookies now too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't forget, if your child is misbehaving because they're exhausted and overtired and you can't get them to sleep at night or to take naps, then set up a free call. Link is in the description box down below and keep blooming. Mwah.